Good morning guys and happy birthday to me! That sounded even more cringy than I thought. Wow, that's just my way of saying it's my birthday, but I promise you guys I am not one of those annoying people who dedicates the entire month to their birthday. I cannot stand that. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. I know it's a lot of people. It's probably you. I just, I'm not a fan because celebrate things that you actually accomplish. Like if you accomplish something, let's party, let's celebrate it. But you just being born on this day like yeah you really didn't do anything so i don't know i'm i'm not a big birthday person at all i mean i'm hoping to have you know a good time tonight but i'm not gonna be you know throwing a bash wearing a tiara anything like that obviously if you're six go for it but i'm turning 26 so i will not be going for it the one thing that i do love about birthdays it's just so weird to reflect like where you were in life on this day x amount of years ago like on my 10th birthday i was sneaking out onto my roof of my house thinking i was so cool because my friends and i popped the window out and we just stood on my roof on my 20th birthday i was puking my guts out because i had way too many drinks i've mentioned it before guys i rarely have ever thrown up from alcohol in my life maybe three times i feel like i'm jinxing myself but really i'm I, three times that was one of those times that was awful and then ironically my 21st birthday sucked i was working the night before at new york fashion week so i turned 21 at midnight we were still out working no one really even knew it was my birthday it was just me alone it was not even fun woke up the next day thought like maybe my friends and i were gonna go out to the bars it was gonna be fun and no one wanted to go out so that was fun we ended up going to some random house party it wasn't even a house party my 21st birthday was not what you think a 21st birthday would be and then here we are on september 10th 2021 where i am awake very early getting ready and my story this morning is very sad but also very meaningful very near and dear to my heart something i'm really happy to be covering. This morning I am at Nippert Stadium at the University of Cincinnati where they're going to be doing a stair run to honor those who lost their lives on 9-11. Catherine, it is early. I mean the sun isn't even up and yet so many people are here and they're on a mission. They're going to run some stairs. If I step out of the way, you can see a lot of people already showing up. They're going to be running 2,071 stairs to be exact, and not so many stairs there were in the Twin Towers. I decided to actually come in my car because the music was really loud out there, but today is September 10th, not September 11th, but because September 11th falls on a Saturday this year, they're honoring those who lost their lives on Friday, which actually I was celebrating my birthday in school on September 11th, 2001, the day it all happened. And I'll never forget, I mean, I normal day for me right i was in first grade so ugh, like i remember the teachers like you could just tell something was up but as a first grader we had brownies and all of these desserts in school celebrating my birthday like it, it just was the last thing anyone would have ever thought especially not a six-year-old and not to mention i lived on long island new york you know that's 40 minutes from the city one day we're learning about math and science and then the next we're learning how to speak to someone who has lost a parent you know how to deal with grief because so many people where i'm from lost a loved one good morning catherine we're about 15 20 minutes into the event and people are dripping sweat i mean if you've ever come to nippert stadium and if you've run these stairs you know this is no small feat and yet there are so many people who set their alarm clocks early this morning and they're doing this for a reason i mean they're honoring those who lost their lives and it was a lot of people it was people who went to work that day not knowing they wouldn't come home it's first responders who ran toward the falling buildings as other people were running away all right so i'm back home and i have kind of a lot of work to do because on Fridays I have to do a lot of planning and I get a lot of questions from morning reporters who are kind of stressed with planning story ideas and all of that and the key is planning ahead like I don't want to go into a week on a Monday and not know anything that's happening that week so Fridays are really dedicated to what's going on next week what can I try to set up obviously things pop up but I try to do as much as possible but all I want to do is open what you guys are sitting on right now. Yes, this is my current tripod situation and these are my birthday presents. This one is from Zach. Love the wrapping paper, props to him for making it pink. And then this is a box from my mom, which is so nice that she sent something and then I needed it to be a little higher. So I put a little cup in there, but Zach, would you like to um, say hello? He said one second. All right, how much do you think I'm going to love your present on um, like a scale yeah like one, one through ten. ten like a seven nine eight ish 
How do you go from seven to nine? Seven point nine. Oh, seven, seven point nine. nine okay, okay. Like, it's like good. It's like maybe not my best work, but like, we're going to dinner. I just got her a gift like two weeks ago. There's a surprise in there. A surprise, really? It's like a second gift, so like, it should be good. I mean, may maybe higher, but like, I, I don't want to get my hopes up that she's gonna like act like this is the best. Clancy's a very tough gift receiver. She's well, always so <laughs> stern. We've had um, instances in the past. <laughs> yeah. But it's mostly me giving you gifts. With, with gifts, I, I just try not to get your hopes up too much around here. It's important to note that I've added extra chocolate to my chocolate oatmeal this morning because it's my birthday and I will do what I want. It's funny because Zach and I used to bake each other a cake on like every occasion birthdays, Valentine's Day, anniversary. And we've definitely cooled off on that the past two years because it's just, it's bad news. If I bake him a cake, it's one that only he can eat because I use eggs and I'm lactose intolerant, allergic to eggs, yada, yada, yada. So he ends up like eating the whole thing throughout the week. And then for me, if he bakes me a cake, I will, I will legitimately eat half of it that day. Like I'm not kidding. I will eat it until I'm sick and about to throw up, which is not good. It's just, I have no self-control no self-control whatsoever. It's very easy for me to be disciplined when like I'm choosing things and things are in front of me, but if a chocolate cake's in front of me, like it's getting eaten. So yeah, for now we've got the oatmeal. Guys, the time has finally come where I can open up my presents. Done with work, Zach's on his lunch break. And I love it how I'm the most like, oh, I'm not into birthdays person. Like I don't really care, but hand me a present. And I'm like, oh my, like it just, it sparked something in me. You get excited like a little kid. Yeah, I enjoy a present. I enjoy a good present. Which should I open first? Uh, this, because that in the card it alludes to what this is. <laughs> what could it be? I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared. Same. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love these. <laughs> Sperry boots, oh We my talked gosh. about it last year, I almost bought you those, and then you were like, well, I actually like them. Wait, so are these snow or rain? Well, it's like both, you can- Like, like just like, well, yeah, inclement weather. Yeah, I mean, I- Oh my gosh, guys, these are so beautiful. What the heck, why are you so good at fashion taste? I can't believe I've <laughs> landed a man who actually has a fashion taste. I love them. These are perfect. Figured it's out, moment. all I know how to do is give shoes. Hey, <laughs> your, your shoe game, strong. Thank you so much. Card time. Wait, so what? We're, I got Thomas Rhett tickets. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Okay, I like, I like read all of this and I'm just like, I don't see. Oh my gosh, thank you. She seems super excited about going to see Thomas Rhett. Jeez Louise. Okay, for a backstory, I know it doesn't seem like, I'm just flat, I'm, okay, so I read this whole thing and I didn't read the Thomas Rhett part because it was the very end, so I'm like, I don't see anywhere where it alludes to the second present. Second of all, Thomas Rhett is maybe my favorite artist. Like, I'm obsessed with him, so thank you. Yeah, you I'm, can really tell. No, I am. She, I did it again. People, people, always, people <laughs> always comment on how awful I am at, like, receiving gifts. I like receiving them, but I'm not good at receiving them. No, but thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That was really nice of you. That's perfect. I love that. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. That's your presents. Thank you. <laughs> and then, do you want to be here for my mom's sure. presents? Just you awful in my do apartment. The, the cutting? Why, you don't trust me? No, because well, you're doing it towards you. It's gonna be funny if your mom like shows me up. She like, this is like a box full of like the greatest things ever. And I'm just like, wow, well, now I'm just a loser. Oh yeah, you're just a loser. Kathy and I have to compete on presents. Compete for my love and affection. That's Clancy's dream. It is. Oh wait, I was about to. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> about to dig in. What did I get? Not for you. My mom got Zach a nightstand for his birthday. I use it every night. Oh my gosh! I love this. I have seriously such a similar shirt in just different colors. It's so soft. I love this. This is perfect. Ooh, another one. Army green. Can't go wrong with that. And I can't even emphasize enough how soft this is. By the way, this is American Eagle, which mm -hmm. classic brand. Oh wow, this is cool. I love a good like crazy sleeve. I'm gonna say sleeves and it goes that down on your shoulder. So oh that my should gosh, be nice. this is gonna be so nice. That should be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, I was just thinking I want a belt. <laughs> I was just thinking that. What the heck? I was seriously, I, I don't really have them. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it would go so well with this, right? Wow. 
What? These are perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love all the rips and everything. This is perfect. Wow. Thank you so much, mom. This is just so kind. Thank well, you both so much. She likes mom's gifts better. No, I love both Kathy. of you. Kathy. My mom and my boyfriend are like my two favorite humans in this world. Stop Sometimes. showing me up, Kat. <laughs> Watch it. No, thank you both so Those much. Those were good gifts. Well, I'm saying thank you to just You'll see this eventually, Mom. I'll give her a call. Thank you, thank you, thank you to both of you. You guys are both so nice. No. Happy birthday, dear. Thank you. Does this not look like the most glorious thing you have ever seen? This is actually Zach's creation, so props <laughs> goes to him, where he has an egg sandwich with cheese. Goozing is goozing a word. No, it's not. Oozing out, <laughs> gooey, avocado, barbecue sauce, and then his favorite little quinoa mixture. <laughs> I didn't know. I was supposed to say I didn't know I was married to a chef. <laughs> We're oh, not done. married. <laughs> not even not close. Not that looking. Yeah. Hello. What do you have for us? Yay! My brother got me birthday flowers. What are they? Oh, <gasps> they're red. Really? What the? F I love red. Oh, That's so pretty. I'm trying to convince Neil to go out with us tonight. Are you coming? Probably not. Neil, why? I'm just tired. You should put the camera down. Well, here we are again, about to get ready again, twice in one day, which is the worst part about my schedule. I mean, this is 16 hours since the first time I got ready today, which is just so messed up. But yeah, about to get ready for my birthday. This is the before. And I'm looking a little better. And I have to say, getting ready when it's not two o'clock in the morning is so much more enjoyable. Like I actually enjoy it. putting on a little bronzer here, a little mascara there, and I really like my outfit tonight. It's kind of a little funky. We've got pants that are from Shein. This little top is from Abercrombie & Fitch. Jacket from Abercrombie & Fitch. And then the boots. These are the ones Zach got me a couple of weeks ago. And these are from Madden Girl. And the pants flare at the bottom, which I am all for. So birthday OOTD. Well, I actually opened up the windows, which I don't know why I didn't think of doing that before. But um, yeah, tonight I am just... I don't really know what tonight's gonna be. It's just gonna kind of be like a chill night. Like I said, not a big birthday person. So Zach and I are going to dinner at my favorite place ever, More Line, which is right at what's called the Banks here in Cincinnati. Really, there are like two main spots to go out downtown. It's either the Banks, where Great American Ballpark is, Paul Brown Stadium, the River, or over the Rhine. And I just like the restaurants better at the Banks, basically, More Line. So Zach and I have 7.30 reservations, and then I invited a couple of friends to come out as well, so. We shall see. All right, we've got our first drinks of the evening. We've got a lime white claw. I didn't... Natural. Yeah, you want everyone to know how natural you're being? I got a Tito's water, and basically our spot upstairs wasn't ready because it is packed tonight because who's in town? My favorite, Billy Joel. It's so funny, guys. It's just, I mean, I'm not screaming, but it's like all old, old people. people. Yeah, <laughs> it's the 50 and up crowd. Yeah, but uh, but this is more line, everyone. If you ever come to Cincinnati, I'm not kidding. This is the place you have to come to. They also have like the best views ever. Maybe I'll show you when we're upstairs, but this is uh, spot number one of the evening. We're waiting to go upstairs. Guys, this is the view of a lifetime. We've got the bridge, we've got Zach, the view of the lifetime. and we've got company. That's Sam, that's Lindsay. They're getting married in a week. How are you feeling, Sam? I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to see the dress, the hair. I mean, I've seen all the in pictures. Oh, it's gonna look, it's gonna look amazing, flawless, and so elegant. I'm so excited. All right, now, this is awkward that we don't have our food yet, but here's the thing. All right, tell them the story of how like we were gonna sit just right there and it would have been so awkward. Well, we had reservations. Sam texted me they were gonna come meet out, meet up with us tonight for your birthday and then more line sounded good. So we were just gonna both eat separately. We were gonna be super romantic. I was gonna say all these nice things. I had them scripted in my phone. So they were already sitting here eating, clearly. And they were gonna sit us right there. That just would've been so weird. So yeah, we, were, we weren't gonna, be super awkward people and just not sit down. So this worked out great. Now Zach is gonna whisper those romantic. <laughs> yeah, well, I almost <laughs> shared a room with him as long as I've shared a room with you. Well, no, no it was two we... years, two years. <laughs> okay, uh... this, by the way, I've talked about Sam on the vlogs before. Zach's freshman year roommate, what are the odds that they actually, like, like it worked <laughs> yeah. out? But Sam, tell them the weird thing about you. You didn't freaking have texting. <laughs> No, oh, well, yeah. I, I did well, not. Well, he didn't have, know it was weird. I didn't have texting until sophomore year of college. So, Zach, you so. thought Sam hated you. Well, yes. yes. When we were going into college 2010, that's when Facebook was a big thing. We, like, friended each other and we messaged each other. Like, hey, like, what's your number? 
because I was going down to the first UC football game. Sam was going down to the first UC football game. I'm like, perfect. Like, I'll just meet up with this kid. All I had seen of Sam is his Facebook photos, which it's one of him swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Sam swim tape. <laughs> then there's one of him with a red flat bill, big fake diamond earrings. What? And, Sam? And braces. You your ears pierced? Yeah. And no. just, and I can still fit oh, earrings yeah. in my ears. And yeah. braces. Yeah, and, and a big and those hoops over. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and a big brace face. So I'm like, okay, like <laughs> I can work with. This. I can. We can figure out what's going on. So yeah, so that's all I'd known. I'm like, okay, cool. Like he's at least an a athlete. Like we sh we should be able to get along. And I was texting him the day of. Like, yo, dude, I'm on my way down. Like, let me know like when you get there. Nothing. No response. All right. Head. Like, fine. Like that's cool. Get to the game, chilling for a bit. It's like probably at end of the first quarter. Like. Yo, like I'm in section this, we should meet up, like whatever, nothing. So I'm like, yeah. God, I need to meet this kid. I probably just called him and then I think we met at halftime, said what's up, again, talked for five, 10 minutes at the most. And then, yeah, I mean, the rest is history. I, I moved in first and then Sam came down, moved in when skydiving, yeah. the first day of college. Yep. Uh, Who does that, Sam? You are the weirdest. <laughs> You're the weirdo. Thank you. <laughs> in the best I, way possible. Anyone who knows me knows I only like weird people, but who does that? I, Timing all worked out that my sister and now brother-in-law wanted to go. So yeah, I dropped my stuff off, said, good to see you again. I'll be back in a couple hours. I'm gonna go jump out of a plane. And, You're just like, why did I sign up? And he jumped out of the plane. I was ready to start boozing. And so I kept boozing by myself, texting Sam while he's not responding, jumping out of airplanes. And he came back. We partied that I night. had a great I, night that night. And that's where the friendship was born. Yeah. I had a party lined up. We were good. And now, Lindsay, how did you guys meet? This is the story of a lifetime. Well, Sam and I met at work. We started working together five years ago. And I sat right across from him and didn't have like a ton of friends here in Cincinnati yet. Because I just moved down here and basically forced Sam to be my best friend. So I just started like texting him, hanging out with him. I was like, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. You're going to be my new best friend. And here we are today. We are now getting married. So, but um, you like hardcore friend zone now. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. So yes, I did friend zone him at first. I should say that um, <laughs> we we genuinely were like best friends for a very very long time, and then I started to finally have feelings for him. They finally kicked <laughs> in. If, if, you're, <laughs> if anybody watches The Office, it's just Jim and Pam. Oh my gosh! When I met you guys, you were you were trying to get out of the friend zone, and it was like working, but you yeah. guys had to keep it on the low. <laughs> low. Oh yeah, we had to sneak around. So our, our work has no dating policy. Um, so we snuck around for a few months, and then we were like, hey, it's working. Let's tell people and just go all out. So we did. And we're, we're here. We're here. We're, here. we're getting married. A week from getting, yeah. getting married. I've obviously gone to like quite a few weddings. This is the first one I'm so excited for because I truly know. Not, that sounds so bad, but I've gone to a lot of like your friends' weddings. Well, none, none of your close friends have been. Gone yeah, to but you guys are like my pals, so I'm so excited. Hey guys, the meal of the hour has arrived. This is turkey, lettuce, tomato on, I have no idea, just bread, I guess. I don't know, toasted. I don't know. Anyway, Sorry. sweet potato fries. <laughs> yeah, what is that, sourdough? Okay, thank you. Are you Italian? Italians seem to know everything in life. You're not? No. You're tan. You, you, keep thinking, you always say he is, because you said he looks like Ronnie. He does look like Ronnie. <laughs> Tell me he does not look like Ronnie from the Jersey Shore. Oh my gosh, and what do you get? Ribs. Ribs. <laughs> Ribs. <laughs> Ribs and iron rings like a man. This is how you know last night got a little wild because I'm the kind of person who puts my clothes away no matter what, every single time. Like, I don't do this. This is, this is just not something I do, but I came home and was just not having it. Zach over here just woke up at the ripe old hour of 11.46. My head's been better. I am not feeling great, guys. And now I remember why I really don't 
drink a lot. And last night I had way more than I normally do just because it was my birthday. So that's just the way things go on your birthday sometimes. I was editing some of this footage and I it's making me nauseous watching and oh my gosh, my eye won't stop tearing. Oh, it hurts. I don't know what it is. I think alcohol dries out your body or something. Do you see that? My eye is like not well right now. I don't know. I'm gonna have to end this later, but we're not, we're not okay. And actually, very tragic. I mean, the one thing that was going to revive me was my chocolate oatmeal and I totally messed it up and it's just soup. Like I put in way too much water. It's oh, actually, it's kind of hardening. All right, but it's not good. It's just not great. Hello, I wanted to give a little update on the situation, which it, it just was not a good morning. Not a good morning at all. I have not been that hungover in over a year. Like I don't drink like that. That what you saw, like that's not normal, but life's all about balance, right? Like last night, we were out pounding shots and being irresponsible. And today I'm on a bike ride and this was really hard for me to get out. Normally I work out first thing in the morning on the weekends, that's just how I like to do it. But I could not get myself out of the house before two. So I just ran, or I just ran, I just rode 10 miles. I'm gonna do another 10 back, which I'm screwing myself over here. Like I don't wanna do 20, but I knew if I did 10 in one direction, I have no choice but to do another 10. So we're doing 20 today, I'm punishing myself for being a little reckless last night but no it's just it's such a nice day out and i really wanted to get out because we're not gonna have too many of them left but yeah i'd say like one of the biggest hangover cures is just getting out exercising doing something good for yourself like yeah you could stay in bed all day but i don't know i didn't want to do that and this by the way guys is cynthia i purchased her at the beginning eh, not the beginning of, yeah kind of the beginning of summer because i technically bought cynthia in March, but it was so back ordered, so I didn't get here until like I want to say June or July, maybe. And it's like the best thing I've ever purchased. I love it so much. It was kind of expensive. I forget how much I paid. Maybe like six hundred dollars. Like it's a it's a really good bike. So maybe like six hundred dollars. I don't know. Six or seven. Like it was it was an investment, but I'm really happy I did it. So anyway, I'm just procrastinating. I don't want to ride back. This sucks. 20 miles later and this is about to go in my stomach. Romaine lettuce, quinoa, sweet potato, chicken, cucumber, house vinaigrette, water, and my brother who I invited out for a lovely meal. What'd you get? A wrap. Okay, can we be a little descriptive here? Come on. A buffalo chicken wrap. Meal. Oh. Today, the Cincinnati Bengals kicked off their regular season at home. The game isn't until one, but local 12's Clancy Burke is live at Paul Brown Stadium where the party gets started early, right Clancy? Cassie, right now I'm checking my watch. It must be broken because the game doesn't start for another five hours and yet the party is starting now. And of course, anyone who lives in Cincinnati, you know the fans are so dedicated. They're up super early and this just might be the best setup out of the whole thing. I mean, right now I want to introduce you to not just Scott over here, but the Bengals bar. I mean, Scott, walk me through your setup. Yeah, we have our Bengals bar here. This is our version 4.0, our fourth one now. We went a little bit skinnier this time so we can get it on the bus um, we got our TV set up for the game we'll do some ice cream shots this is such a difficult story for me to cover because there's too much I mean there is so much to show you I could I could really be here for like an hour and I wouldn't even scratch the surface but I want to introduce you to some of the biggest fans right over here oh yes they are excited oh my gosh guys I'm filling out on the morning show today yeah my weekend was short and do you guys remember my old photographer, Henry, who left to go to another station? He's here. Oh my gosh. Henry! Hey! I just saw the vlog. I saw you from a distance and was like, no, this isn't happening. Stop. I could cry. Oh my gosh. What's up? It's you. It's me. You with another badge. <laughs> another mic. That's right. That's right. <laughs> wow. Oh, guys, I can't emphasize enough how exciting that was seeing Henry. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember Henry because he was my photographer for like, I don't know, seven or eight months. Like it was kind of a long time. And then I know a lot of you had questions about him leaving, where he was going, why he was leaving. And he did go to another TV station, which might seem like, ah, but it's really not uncommon. First of all, Henry had worked at Local 12 since before he graduated college, and he's now 43. So it had been a long time. And then the truth is, a lot of times when you switch TV stations, you get a pay raise. You just do, because the other station is like bringing in new talent. It's just a thing. So he did get a pay raise, and overall, I'm happy for him. And that's the thing, we're all friends. I, a lot of people always ask, like, are you guys like always like in competition and this and that? And it's like, no. 
We are all friends at the TV stations. Actually, on Friday, one of the girls that you would have seen in the vlog, my friend Joanna, works at Fox 19. Yeah, today, filling in on the morning show, and it was nice, which is actually funny because I was about to say it's nice that I got to sleep in until 5 today because the morning show hours on Sunday, you work from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., and I know there's like a challenge going around on YouTube where people like wake up at 5 a.m. and it's like so crazy and they're so tired and it's like this whole thing. And for me, I'm like, I got to sleep in until five. So that really did feel nice though, getting to sleep in until that time. Although if I wasn't working today, I feel like I would have just slept my heart out because I was so tired yesterday. I think I'm gonna end the video here. This was a fun one. I really like showing you guys like my weekends and my life outside of work as well. Cause I feel like a lot of times I just film my work days and very work focused but I promise I do have a social life I do have you know friends and I like go out and all that stuff and so it is fun when I get to show that part of it and I think I'm gonna try to get some footage of Sam and Lindsay's wedding weekend which is next weekend so that should be the next vlog thank you guys so much for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not already and of course all of my social media is linked down below bye